Hey, so today I have another crypto airdrop for you and the tasks on this one are relatively easy. So here's everything I've done in order to try to qualify. This one shouldn't take long. Like always, the URLs will be in the description and let's jump into my laptop and get started. So Orbiter Finance is a layer to bridge where you can send funds between 11 different networks from one blockchain to another. As you can see, they have ZK Sync Era, Polygon, Ethereum, Optimism, and a bunch of different chains, allowing you to easily swap tokens between all of those networks. Now, do they have a token coming out? Well, according to their Discord FAQ, yes, there is a token coming out. When will it be released? There is no specific date at this moment, but you can follow their Twitter or Discord for updates. Additionally, they have strongly hinted in a tweet that there will be a potential airdrop. Uh, if we look at this tweet here, right in this section here, um, airdrops do make a project great and they're kind of just obviously hinting that there will be one. So how do you qualify for this potential airdrop? You can guess that you're just gonna have to use the bridge and make as many transactions as possible. So the first thing you wanna do is head over to orbiter.finance. You're going to connect your MetaMask or any wallet in the top right corner and you're gonna need to have funds on either Ethereum, USDC, USDT, or DAI. So you need one of those tokens and that can be on any of the supported networks. It can be on Ethereum mainnet, it can be on ZK Sync Era, Optimism, BNB Chain, etc. And if you haven't added most of those networks to your MetaMask, you can go to chainlist.org and just add those networks. So for example, if you want to add Arbitrum, just search in Arbitrum and then click add to MetaMask and then it will do that for you. So once your wallet is funded, you can start bridging your funds. So the way to do this is just select the token. So I have some ETH, for example, and then select the networks that you want to send your assets from and where you want to send it to. So let's say I want to send Ethereum from Arbitrum and we're going to send it to BNB chain. So let's say I want to send that much Ethereum. You can see the fees on the bottom you complete your transaction here and then it'll show you some more information. It'll see how much you receive on the other end. And then you can click confirm and send. Obviously you're gonna have to approve it in your MetaMask. So the gas fee here is only 16 cents. I'm gonna confirm. And now you can see it's processing and you just wait for it to go through. So ideally you wanna do as many transactions as possible to maximize your chances for the airdrop. However, there are fees that apply, but you can always see the fees that you're paying before you make the transaction. Now, the other thing that you can do is go to guild.xyz slash orbiter finance and level up your Discord roles by completing the tasks that are on this page. So as you can see here, there are some different levels where you can complete various tasks, such as follow them on Twitter, add a UFO to your Twitter username and so on. When you visit this site, you're going to have to connect your wallet in the top right corner. After that, you'll see this URL here to the official Orbiter Finance Discord. So you're gonna go there and just follow the steps there. That should take you back to this page and it'll show that you have access and you can start going through the tasks. So right now I've done the first two and the next one is pilot, which is number of transactions 10 to 49. And this updates once a week on Monday. So I have to wait for this to update, but essentially you want to just go through this and get as many levels as possible. Uh, there's a summary right here on the blog post, which I'll also link down below, but the highest level ACE pilot needs 500 transactions or more. So obviously this is not feasible for most people, but in general, the more transactions you get, the more you might be eligible for an airdrop and a higher airdrop as well. And by the way, if you don't want to use your real discord or Twitter or something like that, you can just make a fake account and still do these tasks and that's it as we can see this transaction was completed for me and you can go into your history here and see your transaction history and see how many transactions that you have sometimes this takes a while to update actually uh, but you can track that over time and you can also do any combination of bridges here for example you can send funds from ethereum mainnet to zk sync era and zk sync is another potential massive airdrop they've raised 458 million dollars in funding so if you want to see how to qualify for that potential airdrop check out this video which i will put somewhere on the screen drop a like if this was helpful and thanks for watching i'll see you in the next video